Dearborn Public Schools is hosting uh, FTC, which is the middle school competition, a state qualifier, and also uh, FLL Junior, which is First Lego League Junior Expo today on December 9th. Kindergarten first, second graders, did you enjoy yourselves today? So some of you are going to be part of the FFL next year. And I know you're going to stay on this team and you're, you're going to try your hardest. And then you're going to be eventually part of the middle schoolers and high schoolers because you guys are... For six matches that you have, you scored four points within that two minutes. So is there a better use of time in those two minutes? That's what I would like to try to figure out what you want. You have it? Yeah. Open, forward, forward. When we use OnBot, it updates the code directly and it updates it like piece by piece like while you're doing it in real time. And the struggle that we do have is um, if when these front driving wheels come off, so if they are off, the balancing stone, but the, we have we want to park over there. We actually can't. We have a hard time getting back up to back up, off. Really yeah, so that we are a little more yeah, knowledgeable. Yeah, we're just trying to do what. Okay. 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 We're gonna take the notes that we have on paper and print them out, so we can like have a digital copy of all our notes. The first tech challenge, basically we have robotics teams from around the district and from throughout the region, from, from uh, throughout Michigan, basically they come together. They're all focused on a general theme and this year's theme was for them designing robots that would go and, and, and collect artifacts and deposit them and they have a fun competition. It's an opportunity for students to be engaged, you know, for them to learn about teamwork. They learn a lot about um, the science, engineering, inventing about putting things together, uh, working together. They design their own, own robots. They learn a lot about problem solving and figuring things out. Uh, and they have fun along the way as well. So the competition is held, held yearly and based on the judging and based on how well the robots do, there are other competitions throughout the year that uh, schools can uh, participate in. We wanted to highlight our STEM leaders, and they are K-12 in Dearborn. We have almost 30 teams at all levels, um, kindergarten and 12th grade. So we wanted to showcase our middle school STEM leaders and our elementary STEM leaders. They are rookie teams in Dearborn, so this is our first year having elementary robotics teams, and uh, they did an awesome job today. Uh, anything in an event like this comes together. It was, it was a lot of work. It was fun. It was a good thing to do for not only for the kids, but it was a good reflection not only at McCullough Eunice, but the Dearborn Public Schools in general. It took a lot of uh, volunteers, a lot of people behind the scenes to make it happen. It's just a good reflection on, on all of us in uh, Dearborn Public Schools. The students are definitely um, great citizens, and they're de demonstrating uh, citizenship and hard work and cooperation and respect. So they're all the district's core values, they're uh, role models of that. They're getting along and cooperating with each other and they're actually inspiring teams uh, throughout district and throughout the state.
represented the team 13777, the McHugh Box. Yeah. From Munich, Minnesota, is their award.